Okay, one last vlog on the beach. Heading out tomorrow, so I thought I'd do another video. And uh, yeah, just back out, almost high tide again. You can see that this uh, area here is filling back up. I think earlier when I was out walking this beach, it was uh, low tide, so you probably have a comparison. I don't know, I've just been a lot going on, really. Been running around quite a bit. Um, but yeah, back out, last day on the beach. Uh, shoot a quick video out here. Yeah, so peaceful. That water is so green blue. I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but really incredible color. Yeah, almost high tide. You can see it's starting to come through here in this little tidal area. That'll all fill up. Maybe a little, couple, little bit higher, yeah. Almost breaking through. Walk down. Yeah, good trip. You know, saw, saw a couple of things that I didn't probably shoot. Um, you know, I was saying earlier, a lot of the intention of this trip was just to really kind of check it out and, and uh, find out what Battalion Island's all about and experience it. And then I want to come back and spend, you know, a week, maybe two, and, you know, just, uh, just kind of slow roll through this area. There's not a lot to see. I mean, other than the beach, it's really the big deal. A couple of, you know, touristy spots like the cave and stuff like that that other vloggers have done. I actually went to the cave yesterday and it was awesome. I liked it. You can, um, it's nice, especially too, when it's really hot out because the water is cool and I think it's uh, fresh water. So it's kind of neat in there. I did, uh, I did enjoy that and then went out to Paradise Beach and I didn't do any island hopping. That might be something I might, might want to do next time is do a little island hopping. And unfortunately, kind of given where I'm at, um, this whole area here is too close to the airport to fly my drone. So I'd have to get up on the north end of the island to do any kind of drone stuff, which I'll save for next time too. So definitely, you know, I'm coming up here next time, spend a week or two and really kind of deep dive into the island. But, you know, I think, I think you could, uh, yeah, I guess it just depends on what you're up to when you come here, if you're looking to come here. If you're just chilling on the beach, man, yeah, you yeah. know, whatever, four days or so is, is great. Um, you know, and, and if, you're, if your weather's great, like we've had really good weather, you know, you can kind of see everything that there is to see on the island too. And, you know, a couple of days, there's really, wow, look at that water. There's really, uh, just not a ton to experience, but other than the beach, which is, Incredible. Yeah. Man. So, so clear. Yeah, well, it's, tide's getting higher and higher. Almost this area is almost underwater. Ah. So beautiful. And just the other thing that amazes me too is I, I can see like three people. <laughs> you know? It's so chill here, it's so relaxed. I mean, if, if you're wanting a, a busy, busy, bustling beach with maybe a little bit of nightlife, 
you ain't gonna find it here. <laughs> you know, but if you're looking for a quiet, secluded, truly incredible beach, I mean, Bataan Island, man, I don't, I'm not this world traveler by no means, but man, this has gotta be one of the best beaches out there. I know, you know, I lived in Florida for a while and know some beaches there and this is with the white sugar sand and like that. This is right up there with that, no question. And I think this is unique to the Philippines just because it's, you know, a lot of the islands are, you know, pretty rough, rugged shore. Um, you know, it's volcanic islands and so, um, but I mean, there's beaches all throughout, but you know, Florida, I mean, shoot, the whole Gulf Coast of Florida is practically one big beach, right? That's just not, not how it is here in the Philippines. But yes, yeah, just amazing. Wow. Yeah. Truly paradise. Here we are, back at the resort, Kota.